free rides for every rider, but nothing is totally free. After a city council committee approved eliminating fares on city buses, tonight we dig deeper into how the city would pick up the tab. 41 Action Supporter Nick Starling joins us. Nick, we know there's no such thing as a free lunch, so who actually would be footing the bill for this? Well, guys, it'll be about $8 million a year. Right now, it costs about $1.50 for a one-way pass and $50 for a monthly pass to go on the bus. And if this proposal goes through, it would make Kansas City the largest city in the nation to have a completely free transportation system. Now, I'm a veteran, so I already had that benefit. Free bus service is a benefit that Michael Butcher already enjoys. What helps me immensely, I mean... I, I see a bus, whether I want to go there or not, I can just get on it and don't even worry about it. A couple years ago, veterans were allowed to start riding the bus for free. Over 2 million free rides later, KCATA CEO and President Robbie Mackinnon says that was a good test to see how free bus service could operate for everyone. We have slowly and methodically been strategically planning to see if this could work. We now believe it can. Riders are on board with the idea. It would save, it would save, save me a lot. If I didn't have the 50 bucks all at once, then I'd have to, I'd have to pay the dollar 50 one way and a dollar 50 coming back. So, three dollars a day, 15 dollars a week, 60 bucks a month. That adds up. Others say it would also benefit employers. If this happens, then they can more easily access labor force and workforce. Despite initial approval Wednesday, one city council member says the plan has some speed bumps ahead. One of the reasons the city has no damn money is because we keep doing Oh, this is a good idea. Let's do this. Oh, this is a good idea. Let's do this. Shield Instead says over the next five years, the city will have a shortfall of $65 million, and adding $8 million a year to that won't help. But others believe they can find places to cut to pay for the free rides. $8 million in comparison to what we spent last year on debt service for downtown parking garages, some of which the city doesn't even own. An $8 million proposal supporters hope will drive straight the final approval. This is that one time that we can affect more people's lives than most people get to do in a lifetime. The KCATA says this will no doubt increase ridership and they can deal with that spike. This proposal now heads to the full city council and they will vote on it tomorrow. Reporting live in Kansas City, Nick Starling, 41 Action News.